What is up guys? Welcome to this first video in the Lumberjack Underground JS tutorial series. In this first episode, we are going to quickly go over a brief overview of the file structure, the HTML page, and the CSS page. So let's jump right in. If you go ahead and download the um, zip folder right underneath this video, it'll give you access to all of these folders and files that I've already got done for you. So if you unzip that and go into it, what you'll see is we have an audio folder. Inside of that audio folder, we have three different MP3s. So this is going to be our theme music throughout the whole game, a little mini game that we're creating that whenever the lumberjack jumps and then when he gets a coin, he'll also have another sound. And right in here, we have a CSS folder, which has our style sheet, of course. I have a font folder, which will be the font that we'll be using throughout the game. And I have provided inside the image folder the sprite sheet, so you don't have to worry about that. And also in the JS folder, I have included the minified version of jQuery. And of course, we'll be adding more JS files here for our little mini game. And then the index.html file, which will be our main file that will display our game. So let's jump over to the text editor. And just a quick overview of the HTML file here. What we have is the title, of course, of whatever our game is. Um, importing our style sheet that we'll be using. We have two canvas tags inside of our body and a script tag where we're loading the jQuery minified version. And if you notice here on the two canvas tags, this is what's important. We have a foreground canvas and a background canvas. So this is the foreground canvas is where like all the entities, game entities will be. So our character, coins, um, anything that he's interacting with and our background canvas will just be of course the background what well, you'll notice they have the same width and height and that is scaled up um, and dependent on pawn um, the sprites that I'm using so I think I did two times or three times I can't remember but anyways 768 width 600 height and the foreground canvas will be have a, it will have a higher Z index as we'll see over here in the style sheet right down here the foreground canvas will be placed on top of the background canvas so anything that's drawn to this canvas the foreground canvas will be placed over the top of the background canvas you'll also see here we are importing our um, font that we are using and then here for all the uh, all the um, tags that are a canvas tag this right here is placing it so it's directly center in our screen and then we're putting a border on it all of this stuff is basically just making it so the user can't like drag and drop the images or any of that default behavior that a browser has with images. And then we did padding margin zero just so that it doesn't have the default space in the browser and change the background color. So that is a quick, quick overview of what the file structure looks like and what our HTML and CSS file looks like. In the next episode, we are going to be going over the game.js file, so our main file on the game, and uh, we will also be discussing the init function, so the first function that gets called in the game. So I hope to see you guys over in the next episode later.